Specify the diene needed for the following reaction. Well, first of all, we have to figure out what kind of reaction is this. One of the key words used in the question is diene. And another key thing that we see is the product has a cyclohexene. Both of these factors tell us that this is a Diels-Alder reaction because Diels-Alder reaction is a reaction between a diene and dienophile and it creates a cyclohexene. Usually for Diels-Alder reaction we have to predict the product but here we have to go backwards to figure out one of the reactants, the diene. So how do we go backwards? We can do a reverse Diels-Alder reaction and here I'm going to show you a prototype so generally when we have a cyclohexene, basically my arrows can go this way. Sorry, it's a little crooked and I'm going to number it. You can number it any way you want, but you can go ahead and number it my way. This is how I always number. And when uh, we do reverse deals alder, we always get a diene and a dienophile. And we have to number it this way. 4, 5, and 6. This is a 5. Okay, so when we do reverse the Alsalder, when we have a cyclohexene and we do the reverse the Alsalder, we have a diene and the dienophile, and this is how they're numbered. What we have to do now is we have to identify the cyclohexene in the product, which is this ring, and I will number it like the molecule I numbered above so I can easily follow my numbering. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You do not have to draw arrows for this problem, but you can follow my arrows. And the product of this will be uh, the diene and the dienophile. The product of Diels-Alder going in reverse is always these two, but you might have to add more things to them. So let's go ahead and number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And my 1 and 2 have um, the, the rest of this molecule attached to them. 1 is attached to C double bond O and so on. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to attach double bond O, O, and double bond O. And this must be my dienophile, which is already shown in this problem. It alre we already have it. But I drew it just to make sure that this is indeed correct. And yes, I got this molecule, so I'm on the right track. I got my dienophile. Now let's go ahead and look at the diene. Is there anything that's missing? Does number 3 have anything on it? 4, 5, or 6? Well, if you look carefully, carbon number 6 has a methyl group here. So my carbon number 6 will have a methyl group here. CH3. Um, the rest is already taken care of. I took care of 1 and 2 and everything that it's attached to. So the only thing that was missing was um, the methyl group on carbon number 6. Now, this must have been my diene. And all that is left to do is to name it correctly. So what I'm going to do is I will erase my numbers. And I'm going to name this diene. In order to uh, name it, I will have to number it again, and I have to number from the end of the chain that is closest to the first double bond. So I have to number starting here. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So I have five carbons, which means my parent chain will have a prefix pent, so it cannot be hex or butte, it has to be either 1,3-pentadiene or 1,4-pentadiene. And in this case, my double, my first double bond starts on carbon number 1, so I have 1. My second double bond starts on carbon number 3, so I have 3. So the correct answer should be 1,3-pentadiene. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe, like, and I look forward to seeing you in more of my chemistry uh, for general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.